We will make a coin and stock market indicator using the trading view library. I will share the website in the description section. You can find all the information about creating an indicator on this site. You can also follow the YouTube channel for more programming projects. We can transfer the trading view library using the keywords specified in the document in the terminal section. I transfer the files to the project with the keyword import. Usually we can use these files to create indicators. I will create a variable. I can create an indicator by sending a few parameters to the handler function. For example, let's create an indicator for shares of the Tesla company. I specify from which exchange the information will be received and its frequency with the parameter sent to the function. Using the get function, I can print all the parameters sent to the function on the console screen. I want to show you all parameters in order. For example, you may need all the parameters when creating an application. Now let's print the indicator properties to the console screen. There are many parameters in the indicator function. All parameters have a meaning, but if you find it difficult to understand the displayed parameters, you can show the summary of the indicators with the summary function. Since there are too many by indicators, by is shown on the console screen as suggested. I want to warn you here, the purpose of the video is definitely not to give investment advice. The purpose of the video is to show you how you can develop applications with indicators using the Python programming language. Let's examine the parameters sent to the function a little bit. From the go to section we can see details of the functions in the library. Here we can understand how all the functions work. If you have some time you can check it. Let's send a few different companies to the function and check its indicators. But real apps don't work that way. Let's create a list. Let's save a few company names to the list. Using the for loop we will display all the company names in the list in order on the screen. I am synchronizing the variable symbol. Let's specify the company name before the indicator features.
all companies in the list are shown in order. You can also display some of the information contained in the summary function on the screen. For example, let's just show the recommendation feature on the screen. Let's show the only companies that are buy on the screen. We can use a simple if query for this. Only the buy ones were shown on the screen. Let's try other suggested values as well. You can also try different options in the if query. Now let's create a list containing coins. I am changing the parameter sent to the function. Not all coins are displayed on the screen due to the if query. I will run it again after removing the if query. Information about the coin is displayed in order. Let's get data from a different exchange. It is probably given an error because BNB is not available on the Coinbase exchange. Let's edit the list and run it again. Using these codes, you can make different applications that show indicators. In the next section, we are going to build a desktop application that displays the indicators. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel for more projects.